And so when you, you know, when you have like these beats you're, you're taking around to, to Jay-Z, to Kanye, um, to, to J. Cole, to artists of that caliber, how are you, how are you presenting them with this music? Like, like can we, what's that look like? Now, it's different now. Now it feels like I'm DJing. That's what everyone tells me. Mm -hmm. I kind of just pull my computer out and I go, are you ready? All right, here we go. Where, <laughs> where, where do you want to start? And they go, what are you talking about? <laughs> and I, I pick a point and I dive in and I begin to just play music and I'm kind of working on it as I play it. Mm -hmm. um, I never really finish a beat. That's why I call yeah. um, the timeline is the enemy. Yes. Once I get there, it's over. Yep. <laughs> uh, and the clips is freedom. Mm -hmm. um, so I kind of just use my own little ways and I just, just play and I play and I say, raise your hand if you hear something. And it can go on for hours yep. and hours. Um, and it's all about, you know, I have a philo another philosophy. I have a lot of philosophies that you can have an idea and lose it in one split second. Mm -hmm. And an artist will not be able to articulate that one split thing that's wrong. Um, one of my pet peeves I always hated was a person saying, hey, you got some beats? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Do you have some songs? <laughs> Maybe I could produce your record. and <laughs> Make your song into a produced recording. Um, because, you know, like I said, sometimes it could be a hair off on the tempo. It could be the wrong key. It could be a wrong sound. It could be the wrong snare. The snare could irritate an art. It's so many little things that we go through with our habits of creating. We pull it up, open the computer or whatever we do, and we start with the kick and the snare and the hi-hat, maybe. Or we start with these chords, maybe. Or we start with these bass lines, maybe. But somewhere along this line, this wonderful idea, 95% of the time gets lost. Mm -hmm. So the problem solving uh, philosophy is how do you not lose the idea? Yeah, yeah. Well, you don't lock in. The one thing, um, I'm a I was a DJ first. So the most important experience I got as a DJ was that if you play the wrong record the wrong way, everybody leaves the floor. <laughs> it's not, it won't be a hesitation. You get instant reaction to this situation. Mm -hmm. As a producer, uh, people won't instantly leave, but they'll instantly shut down. Mm -hmm. You play the wrong thing the wrong way, they tune out. Jay-Z is the best example. Okay. He, give, he gives most people three ideas, chance. If you don't get them in three, he'll, oh, yeah, 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 just, just, uh, just leave those for me, and he'll check out. Um, but more than that, anything, more than anything, I was always uh, consumed the more I learned by the concept of working on music until it's right. Um, and it's a difficult thing to know without knowing who's the artist, mm -hmm. what they look like, how they sound, what are they going to say. Um, it's very much like scoring a movie. How do you balance, um, I guess, being, you know, because on the one hand, you're a musician. On the other hand, as an A&R, um, as a creative, you're helping other musicians navigate the industry. Um, and so how do, you, how do you work with those two, those two poles of what you do? Well, it's really simple. Um, once you get past um, what you do mm -hmm. and you begin to get into why you do it, yep. um, it opens up, um, and I think it's a little more clear. So if you're making beats, that's what you do. Why are you doing it? Well, hopefully you're doing it because either you're the artist or you want to make a specific, unique um, sound that scores another human being. Mm -hmm. So therefore, um, that's the project. You know, um, it's easy to sit down and just make some good, cool music, but mm -hmm. it's hard to figure out a way to make someone care about yourself if you're the artist or another, another artist mm -hmm. in a way that will impact um, culture, um, commerce, mm -hmm. um, 
humanity as a whole. Music is a very important part of life and um, it scores everything that we do uh, in, in certain ways. Um, it's not too many aspects of life uh, that would be the same if we didn't have music. Uh, you couldn't really go out to dance and there'd be no music. You couldn't really, you know, romance would be a little more boring <laughs> if it was silent. Um, <laughs> You know, so th that's what I mean by once you begin to take it out, take the ego out of it, and you start to realize what you are trying to accomplish or should be trying to accomplish, um, that's when it gets a little more interesting, a little more uh, exciting, and and a little more work because it, it entails studying people mm -hmm. and studying emotional reactions. I always had a saying. Uh, with everybody I worked with, I said, the speaker never lies. <laughs> when you put the speaker on and something comes out, either people move or they don't. Your explanation doesn't matter. Um, your feelings and your intentions have nothing to do with the result. The result should be that some emotional reaction occurs um, from that speaker playing. So, you know, these, these are just some of the principles that I've been using to stay around. Uh, it's been over 25 years for me. Mm -hmm. And it's really difficult to believe, like when I look back to when I first started, a lot, if any of the people that I looked to, you know, as uh, the top people are just not around and current. They, you know, they're there, but, you know, to stay current is a really tough task. Absolutely, absolutely.